When we are close to a fire, we feel hot. This is because the thermal energy given out by the fire is transferred to us. Thermal energy always transfers from a hotter object to a colder object. The thermal energy transferred between objects of different temperatures is called heat. Heat can be transferred in three different ways, which are conduction, convection, and radiation. Let us learn about conduction now. When one part of an object is hotter than another part, heat will be transferred from the hotter part to the colder part. This method of heat transfer is called conduction. For example, when a metal spoon is put in a cup of hot drink, heat will be transferred from the drink along the spoon to the other end. The other end of the spoon will get hotter. When a piece of meat is placed on a hot grilling plate, heat will be transferred from the plate to the meat. The meat will be heated up. Some materials conduct heat faster than others. Let's carry out the following experiment to see how heat is conducted in different materials. In this experiment, you will study the conduction of heat in different materials. You are given a copper rod, an iron rod, and a glass rod of the same length. On each rod, paste a heat-sensitive sticker at one end. Put the rods into a beaker containing water at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Wait until the color of the stickers start to change. On which rod will the sticker start to change color first? On which one last? From the observation, we can conclude that heat is conducted most quickly in copper and the slowest in glass. Use a piece of wire gauze to keep some ice under water at the bottom of a boiling tube. Use a Bunsen burner to heat the top of water gently. When the water starts to boil, does the ice melt? No. This is because heat cannot be conducted in water quickly. Place a match one centimeter away from a Bunsen burner flame for about 10 seconds. Does the match ignite? No, this is because air cannot conduct heat quickly. An object that conducts heat quickly is called a good conductor of heat. An object that does not conduct heat quickly is called a good insulator of heat. Most metals are good conductors of heat. On the other hand, non-metallic objects are usually good insulators of heat.